Good morning. I'm looking for a t-shirt to wear that I actually don't dislike. Mm, not many left. Not even that keen on that one. Oh, here we are. But didn't I just buy t-shirts in Cardiff? What is the matter with me? Well, here they are. You might be wondering why they still have the labels on. Yeah, that'll be because they are like tents on me. This is a problem during the pandemic. We can't try things on in clothes shops. I just went by the label. I did hold it up a bit, you know, in the shop, but no, alas. Observe the tent level of tentness. Yeah. How is that small? See, I'm a size 10 to 12, more 12 than a 10. So that I'd say that's a 14 to 16, honestly. And this one's slightly smaller, but honestly, it's still way, way too big. So I'm just gonna have to go to Cardiff and take them back and swap them for a smaller one. Um, okay, but remember I had the shoes issue as well and I had to order some online. Well, they've just come not long ago, really quickly. I didn't even pay for extra fast delivery or anything, but there it is. So I'm just gonna sort myself out because I look like a state. I haven't done my hair. I literally <laughs> got out of the bath not long ago. Here we go again. I did a flipping big unboxing the other day. Oh, it's funny. We've got the exact same thing on it. It's obviously a standard one. Look, it looks like it's handwritten, doesn't it? But it's actually printed. Oh, how funny. What a sales trick. Because you always think you're getting a good deal, but that's obviously the standard price because even on the shop floor, that was the exact same label. Oh, crafty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm actually experiencing emotions. <laughs> Me! <laughs> I didn't think I would. I just thought, so utilitarian shoes to replace the last lot of shoes, but oh my goodness. I needed to replace these 12 months ago. No, 14 months ago. I was waiting for the pandemic to, you know, subside a bit. I'm gonna leave those tags on till I've tried them on. Should we have a look at what I was replacing? These are the old ones. Old, new. I suppose I better give this table a wipe afterwards, right? That old, new. Oh, look, look, grippy, non-soaking up. This is like a sponge. Well, it is a sponge, like basically. It soaks up water and it brings it to your foot inside the shoe, not good. Feels good already. Doesn't feel wet and cold. This is a good start. Oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I remember the first time I tried these having worn Converse's for years and prior to that army boots or DMs and I never really had anything springy. I never wore trainers. Yeah, excuse the, the great British white leg. Very reflective. I don't need those, you know, lamp reflecting things for car safety i just need to expose a bit of my lower leg and then all the motorists will have glare in their eyes the first time i tried a pair of these sort of walking boot type shoes i just couldn't believe how springy they were and how it literally you put your foot down and then you just get boinged up you turn into like a human bouncy ball on each foot it's amazing and it makes walking just so much more energy efficient like when i got a pair of these having gone from thudding DMs or just really flat-footed converses. Like, my walking sped up. I was off, pew, like that, like a shot. And like, people are always telling me to slow down when I go walking with them. But I think it's the footwear, honestly. I don't think I'd be this fast in converses or DMs. See, when I was in Cardiff, I was looking at vans later on. I kind of figured that I'd filmed enough, but later on I was looking at these vans and I was drooling. They looked so nice. They looked like just the sort of thing I'd like to see on my feet, but I don't know. I went back and was Googling how comfortable are vans and quite a lot of people were saying, mm, not very, <laughs> not, if, not if you're on your feet for a long time. And you know, in normal life, I do a lot of walking. So I just need to be comfortable. Right, let's see how these are. Oh, yeah. oh yes. My feet are in heaven right now. And I'm very glad that these fit and I don't have to send them back, partly because we're going out very shortly in the rain. Well, I think we are. We're deciding in the next half an hour whether we are or not. So here in Wales, just as I'm filming this, oh, that one doesn't have anything on. 
here in Wales as I film this, I think it's about the 15th, Saturday the 15th of May. In a couple of days time, we will be able to go indoors to meet people. We'll be able to go to cafes, restaurants, even cinemas. But at the moment, we still can't, but we really want to meet up with our local friends and we're determined to do it today because we had to cancel last week because of the rain so hopefully it should be alright. It's not raining at the moment, it's forecast to probably rain, it's like 40% chance. The thing is there are quite a lot of us, I mean we're within the regulations but you know there are not two of us, <laughs> put it that way, and shelter can be a bit few and far between when everybody's competing for it so you know if we all convene at a location and then we can't fit anywhere as a group it's going to be a bit disappointing but we'll see how the day goes anyway it's dry at the moment i reckon we'll be all right you know i think anyway come and see how the bean babies are doing the bean babies are massive they're like bean teenagers at the moment so i've been growing these from seed if you're new to the channel and they're looking like this at the moment oh they need a water look at that they're going all flaccid is that the word they need a little drink i'll just i'll water them in a moment they're a bit early for going out yet but the thing is they're massive and as you can see they're literally starting to entwine and they were wrapping around the handle of the window in the kitchen so my dad suggested just put them out every day for a bit to get them used to being outside and harden them off a bit does anybody else feel a compulsion to always save the laces out of old footwear when it's going in the bin or is it just me i bet lots of you do it let me know in the comments I'm listening to the spitting rain, it's not too bad, but I've been messaging the, the gal pals and we're just trying to make a final decision now as to whether we're meeting up or not. It is, oh, I can see it is raining. Um, I'm gonna nip to Greg's if we are, because I haven't made any packed lunch or anything and um, I, I need to get some stuff in before I can do that. So that's what I will do if we're going. So just waiting for that ding, that confirming message. Yes, we are going to meet up with our friends. So I'm just gonna nip out to Greg's and pick up some lunch bits. Salad. I'm just gonna have to get her a ham one. I didn't can't see any. I'm contemplating buying her a cake. She likes an eclair, doesn't she? But let's get some eclairs to celebrate the end of the GCSEs. Hello, can I please have these and a couple of eclairs as well, please? Yeah, so what we got? Cheese salad, ham and cheese, anything for them? No, that's all, thank you. There we are, cakes and sandwiches in the bag, and it's starting to rain, never mind. I've just walked back into my house, it's now full on raining. <laughs> um, and my umbrella is, well, I killed it in Cardiff, to be honest. I've put it down there for now. It's all buckled and bent. I think it's had its day, but I've got some more. Um, anyway, yeah, um, there's a weirdly delicious smell in my house. It's, it smells a bit like cooking. It smells a bit like, you know, one of those packet pasta and sauce meals. Is it bachelor's mushroom and broccoli or something like that? I don't know. It smells like that. I don't think anyone's been cooking. I am really hungry though. I can't believe we're going out in the rain to the park. We normally take the scooters, but I don't I don't want to risk the brakes in the wet on the hill, so we're going to just leave a bit earlier and walk in the rain with umbrellas. I was literally just making a thermos flask and I could just hear this rain thundering down and I had a text from my friend. She's like, shall we postpone? Because it's really coming down heavy. So we haven't made a final decision, but I think that's what's gonna happen. I've got stuff to do anyway. I've got I've got to do my tax return. <laughs> We're still trying to decide <laughs> by text. Multiple people always takes a while, doesn't it? No, we've had to cancel, but I think Izzy's going out with one of them. They're just gonna go uh, and shelter somewhere around town somewhere. And we'll try and catch up with the others later in the week. It's so awkward with the pandemic with a big group. You know, it's not the same splitting us up. We like to be together. Anyway, I've got loads to do. I'm gonna eat my baguette now by myself. And uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna do my accounts. I know that's very boring. I'll speak to you when I've done that. Oh, mud. As you can see, I'm out walking again. It's particularly noisy on this route today because there's been so much rain that you can hear a lot more of the water noise. It was raining when I left the house, but it stopped now, just about. Um, I didn't do my accounts, I was a naughty MO. I did spend some time editing and I also spent a good hour and a half working on a flute piece that I'm recording early this coming week actually. I'm going to, because Izzy's going to stay with my dad anyway, so I'm going to go to my boyfriend's quite early on in the coming week and we're going to have a recording 
session at his house during the college day so Isabel doesn't have to be inconvenienced or relocated for that to happen so that works out quite well for everybody <laughs> It flies attacking me now. So I'm giving the new shoes a test drive. Oh, look at the lovely leaves. Oh, it's so nice this time of year, isn't it? Everything's just coming really beautifully into leaf. Oh, look at that ivy there. It looks like something Tarzan would swing on. Can you see it hanging down there? <laughs> Not sure how distinct it is on the screen there. Let's just go down here and have a look. Oh, actually, it's a bit slippy because it's so wet now I'm going anyway. I love that bird song. I love that old breeze block wall there, overtaken by nature. Never noticed that before. The new shoes are holding up marvellously. I've walked in some very wet looking puddles and they haven't leaked. I can't believe I still haven't done my accounts. It's because I know I've got about a two week window to do it, but it must be at least a week into that window by now. So I really have got to knuckle down and do it. I'm being bad, bad emo. But that's the thing when you're like me, there are always more fun things to do. Like editing and playing the flute, like they're the number two distractions in my life that stop me doing anything sort of I'm supposed to actually be doing. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, could you please give it a like? Because it doesn't half help the channel to grow. You see, it helps to rank it higher in the algorithm and it helps the videos to get put in front of eyeballs that could then potentially choose to click on them. So anyway, yeah, that helps. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.